Goals, starter Minus 0.5 dp. Videos to move to an item, press the arrow key, period. Ops, then videos, windows, power shell. Window. All right. So this, uh, this is my Windows system. I turned on Jaws permanently, um, and just kind of like leave it on all the time, even though I don't have, I don't have my physical Braille terminal plugged in all the time. Okay. So what's happening if I type? H E L L. Okay. If I'm blind, I can only see this top line. And what a screen reader does, it takes all the output uh, of a program and tries to describe it. Um, it's like a super tragedy that when UIs came out, um, people started to neglect like really good keyboard navigation. Like keyboard navigation is in an awful state. Um, it's probably the worst on an iPhone because I actually have a mechanical keyboard that you, you pop your iPhone into it and there's a keyboard on the back and you can actually type in computer braille. So it lets you type at full speed, you know, the entire um, US QWERTY keyboard. Um, Except all the hotkeys on, on iOS are kind of terrible because they don't really get tested because, uh, you know, they're expecting you to do everything with your fingers. Okay. O but in any case, e you would think that when you're in a shell, everything's great, and it kind of is, but there's a lot of things that get missed. Like like if you type a command, like, say, uh, space, X, space, echo. Alright. Okay, so what I see in Braille, I see nothing. I just see a prompt because it typed the prompt and the prompt clobbered the actual line that was the actual answer, uh, which is super painful because now I need to abuse a copy paste functionality. Do control A, escape, while I'm in which, on, which only works in screen. So now I can use the arrow keys. So if I go up, yeah, so I can see. Alright. So, uh, Okay, so I typed a command and then everything came out of the command after I typed it. Yeah, so ls minus one, basically like the simplest form of just like listing directory names. So now I can figure out what's in the current directory. Okay, but some things actually work pretty well, believe it or not. Um, reading stuff um, in VI is actually not too bad. Okay, index.html sounds like something I want to read. Now you got to remember, the only thing I can see is that, that line at the top. Right, because if you're blind, there's nothing else. You can only go by that line at the top. So you notice the first thing is um, as I navigate, I got to use my fingers to read stuff because uh, it's not really reading anything out. 
So if I go through So there's a list item. Okay. Alright, imagine trying to code like that all day. It's possible. But it's not easy. Alright. In um, this language that they're using. So if I do... Um, All right, and this is my real keyboard program. So there it is in, in computer braille, and that's the actual plain text. The the reason for doing this is again, it's the same reason I have this this thing up at the top is for becoming fluent. Alright. <laughs> but anyways, that's how I practice Braille. So, so I, I, I practice, I practice uh, reading it like this, and then on my phone, and then on my cell phone, I, on my cell phone, I practice typing it, because, because uh, I can have a keyboard that does everything in only 16 keys. And so I type in Braille on my iPhone, iPhone, and then I read it on my laptop. 